So why would we want to deploy dead pigs in the bottom of the ocean? They serve as a very interesting experiment to see how bottom scavengers behave in conditions of low oxygen. So these dead pigs were used for forensic experiments, but we found that it, they also doubled as windfalls for scavengers on the seafloor. And the place that they were put under the, you know, on the Venus Cable Observatory was in Saanich Inlet, which is a naturally hypoxic basin. So the oxygen levels were really very low. They started at about one mil per liter, which is well into hypoxia conditions. And then as the time progressed, the, um, the oxygen would start going lower and lower. And so that gave us an opportunity, first of all, to see whether things like crabs and shrimp octopus, tanner crabs, um, would they arrive or would they take the chance in really low oxygen if there is a payoff at the end of it? And indeed they did. And they arrived within a day. They must have had to uh, walk quite a long way to get down to the pig. And they accumulated in very large numbers. What we found out from this is that we were able from field work to see exactly when the oxygen got too low, that they couldn't cope anymore. We also found out that when the oxygen at low levels, the oxygen's not constant because of the tidal behavior. You've got oxygen going up and down, up and down, up and down. And once the oxygen gets unstable, the animals just seem to disappear. So we found that the uh, starfish were the least tolerant, um, tanner crabs disappeared, then the octopus disappeared, then the shrimp disappeared, dungeon s crab held on to about 0.5 mils per liter. So that's about 6% saturation of oxygen. It was really quite Im impressive. So what does this mean? Well, it means after a dead zone event, if there are any scavengers left who might have been pushed up shallower, there is a chance they can move in and start doing that, that nutrient recycling perhaps a little earlier than we might have predicted. But it also these numbers give um, people who are modeling the, what's going to happen in the ocean a better idea of exactly when the events are going to happen. Um, thirdly, perhaps it just emphasizes how important it is, especially off the west coast of North America, to preserve the shallow water habitat, the place where these these animals are going to have to flee to, the refuges, and make sure in, in a changing ocean, which is more um, susceptible to dead zones, that we've got refuges for these bottom species that are so important in the cleanup.